The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Brickeen. Brought to you by Medines Collision Center in Baton Rouge. Take control, choose Medines. Gross Savant Lodge, south of Lake Charles, the true sportsman's paradise. Treads and Care Company in Central, the tires you need, the service you want. Harvey Auto in Shreveport, Bossier City, the name you have trusted for years. And Gage in Baton Rouge, get better connected with Gage. Here's your host, Lieber King. Hi everyone, I'm Lieber King, the host of the Sports Scout and Report podcast. I uh, hope everybody's having a, a really good Wednesday. Uh, we've got a great show today. Uh, we're going to talk about East Feliciana High School. Uh, East Feliciana has one of the better 2A football programs in the state right now. We've got their quarterback on today and also the dad of the quarterback who's got history playing sports. He's also the golf coach at East Feliciana. Uh, and their mom is here. The, uh, uh, you know, she's here also uh, cheering on uh, her husband being on. But we're going to have a lot more. Uh, with the show, we're going to go about it. You talk about East Feliciana. We're going to talk about the quarterback, and also the quarterback's dad will be joining us, and we'll also introduce him. We'll be right back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. If you need a paint job or repairs to your vehicle, Go see Medine's Collision Center located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on Kincaid Avenue. The number to call is 357-7983. That's 357-7983. Your Baton Rouge Accident Advisors. Hi, everyone. You're watching the Sports Scouting Report podcast. I'm your host, Lee Burkeen. It's not every time you get a chance to have the dad on a show and the son. Uh, and it's not every day you get a chance to interview the dad, who's also a coach, and they've got a big family tree in the family, the Dawson family. Uh, Ryan Dawson is the dad. His son, Mills Dawson, the quarterback, big-time quarterback. He's a class of 223 uh, quarterback. We want to bring him on because you can't get caught up in all these rankings. And you can play or you can't play. And I've always had that theory. Either you're D1 or you're not. You're one AA or you're not. And here's a kid that's probably not ranked a five-star, four-star. I'm not a big star guy. But here's a D1 player right in LSU's backyard whose uncle is also the office coordinator at the University of Houston, Shannon Dawson. But his brother, Mills' dad, joins us, Ryan Dawson. Hey. Thank you for you being doing? here, man. Yes, sir. Thanks for inviting us. How did all this start with your family? Uh, Shannon, well, Shannon, your brother's at Houston, and, yeah. and it was a Silliman graduate. That's right. We both graduated from Silliman. Uh, my dad played college football. Uh, he kind of instilled in us a young age to compete and play ball. Uh, he was, didn't force football on us, but I remember as a child uh, growing up, young Shannon and I competed every day in some type of small game. It wasn't always football, maybe basketball or something. And then that just led into athletics in our family, you know. Well, you're the golf coach too, you told me. Yes, I am somewhat of a golf coach. <laughs> I think my wife's the better golf coach. I think we're, uh, we're more of the cheerleader golf coach, guys, you know. And I want to mention this, and your wife would appreciate this. Uh, six kids. That's right? right, six kids. Four boys, two daughters, right? Four boys, two girls. Uh, Oldest three boys, two girls in the middle, and then Flynn is our youngest one. And you said the second to oldest plays piano for the church on Sundays? Yes, Mills is actually playing the piano. Uh, Hastings played, and now Mills plays. Oh, it's Mills that does that. Yeah, Mills plays. The quarterback. Yeah, yeah the quarterback. He's a piano let's player. Go, let's go come on later. That's right. That's yeah, not, and he actually plays by ear, so it's pretty neat. So. I might have to ask him how good he is doing yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so six kids, your wife, uh, coach. Yeah. Uh, following your son. What is it like? And I'm, I'm glad I have you on as a dad. But yeah. a lot of dads watch this show. A lot yes. of moms watch this show because it's all, you know, kid related with the high right. schools. What's it like to sit back in the stands on a Friday night? I know there's nerves. I know you probably, when you wake up the game day, you, you're nervous for yeah, the game. But how, what is it like <laughs> for you? Well, I mean, game uh, day, though. as a 
as a dad and as a coach, uh, it's 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 kind of it's strange because you, you go to the games and I'm more of an analyst. I sit in the, the box and I analyze the, the defense or the offense and talk to Coach Ray mm -hmm. or Coach Matthews. And uh, so basically, I, I almost have to separate myself from being the dad to being the coach. That's hard to do. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. And so you're trying to. You're trying to make what's the best decision for your for the kid for the kids or for the team, mm -hmm. and so and that's that's hard. But also, we've always been a family that you know I played college ball, my wife played college ball. She she actually played. We both played at Bellhaven uh, basketball, and um, Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah, in Jackson, yeah. Yeah. and uh, so. We 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 know we know what it's like to be you know for disappointment for losses for wins for championship we understand all that, but we also try to make a, a really good balance of it's a game you know at the yeah. end of the day I mean we, we play this game we play it to everything we got, and then when it's over we go to the next one you know we, yeah, don't, right. we don't just keep dwelling right. on the on the game. So every dad I've ever met at a game yeah, does kind of not want to be bothered before kickoff, <laughs> and they're always sitting up the highest point. That's right. To That's be right. away from everybody, everybody yeah. to get well, that view. Because kind of like said, same, you said, you're taking it in. Yeah, it's kind of the same for me because I, I, I'm actually trying to get my mind wrapped around because it's more like a chess game. You know, you're, you're, you're looking at the defense. You're isolated mentally. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to, you're trying to get yeah. yourself in a situation where you, yeah. you, get, you find the right matchups, yeah. you know, and we're trying to find the matchups from, from, from day one. Every time know? I'm looking for a quarterback, Dad, I go to the top of the stadium. <laughs> and I see the guy that's standing by himself. That's 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 where you're gonna find your quarterback. Dad. That's right. That's We're gonna right. take a break. We'll come back. We're gonna have more of Coach Coach Ryan Dawson <laughs> and uh, his son Mills will be joining us later in the show. We're gonna talk about him, and then I'm gonna ask Ryan about his son, which is always I think hard to do uh, <laughs> when you're a coach uh, yeah. to separate that. But we'll be right back. What does a bug man do? Not only do we do pest control, we do odor control, bat removal. Moisture control, rodents, and of course, bed bug control. Give the bug man a call. We get them before they get you. Grosavon Lodge, the true sportsman's paradise. Grosavon Lodge has fresh and saltwater fishing, alligator hunting, waterfowl hunting, and echo tours located south of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Give them a call at 337 598 2357. That number to call again is 337 598 two three five seven and have the time of your life welcome back you're watching the sports scouting report podcast with lee burkeen i want to thank the marriott our hotel sponsor if they live five hours away we'd be putting them up in a hotel uh at college drive I want to thank ralph nay also superior grill and also our host man uh the greatest italian restaurant in baton rouge the julio brothers italian restaurant on perkins road not far from Acadian, not far from LSU. And you said you've no. been here a few times. Yeah, yeah. Steak you and your tips. wife. Steak tips and pizza. There you it's go. Amazing. Hey, man, you know what's going on. Uh, they have brunch on Sundays. Uh, they open at uh, 1030 on Sundays till 2. Got a great breakfast. Yes. And then during the week, uh, most days till 10 o'clock. And uh, they have great everything. I mean, I've been here probably a million times, twice a week. Yeah, it's good. You know, good great food. place. The Julio Brothers on Perkins Road. Italian restaurant, tell them Lee sent you here. Tell Mike Johnson, the owner. Um, speaking of East Feliciana, uh, Ryan, and, and I want to name all these kids once because they all deserve to be mentioned, and then we'll zoom in on a four or five kids. Sure. And obviously you got two kids on the team. Yeah, two. Um, but Tredes Green, who everybody knows about, he's 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, Some people say 6'9". He's a beast. He's a beast. <laughs> Runs four something, whatever. He's got great hands. Four, five, forty at 6'7", well, 230. I, I tell people all the time, it's it's all about, uh, it doesn't really matter how fast you are when you're 6'7", because you're so much taller. Right, right. If you run a 4'7", you right. it's it's good. So, right. It's it's yeah. a man among yeah, boys type yeah, thing. A, uh, Chandler Wilson, running back, linebacker, safety, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Stanley Gilmore, great athlete. Uh, I call him Q Dunn. I don't know how to pronounce yeah. his first name. Uh, receiver corner. Uh, Cameron Davis, a really good DB. To carry White, a great receiver, safety. Um, Herman Baptiste, really good athlete. Brawl Flowers, really good DN, a good looking kid, 6'3, what, 220. Yeah. Uh, Traylon Gerald, who's a big guy, another 6'3 guy, 220. Uh, Ezekiel Calhoun, another big lineman. Like him a lot. 
uh, Tom Hayes, running back corner, Michael Prophet, O-line, D-line, uh, Mary Barnes, another big guy, 300-pound lineman, John Marley Dawson, the Dawson yeah. family, uh, a young receiver kicker, linebacker, <laughs> yep. DV slash water boy, uh, Michael sure. Hodges, uh, athlete, and then Robert Washington, offensive lineman, guard, center, wherever you want to put him. It's an impressive group of kids, Coach. That's right. Yeah, it is. And then and Tyler, in, Hamilton, and then the, the Tyler Hamilton. Tyler yeah. Hamilton, a new running back from yeah. Zachary. Yeah. So it's 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 interesting. Uh, every one of these kids, we can't say enough about. But uh, you know, size, speed. We we have all the ingredients. It's all. It's kind of a, you know, if you had to bake a perfect pie or per perfect cake, yeah. we we have it. Uh, Trey Des, you can't say enough about the kid. I mean, he's humble. He's you, you tell him one time, he's 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 on top of it. Uh, you know, six seven. Uh, you know, fast, athletic. Two years of football left. Yeah, two years of football left. I mean, uh, if we can just keep him out there, that would be great. We just got to <laughs> just got to keep him happy. Don't get know? too tall. Don't yeah, get yeah, too yeah, tall. Yeah, Chandler uh, Chandler Wilson is a kid that uh, I, I don't think enough people give him credit, but he's a sleeper. He's definitely going to be an addition for somebody in college. I mean, this this kid is has got a heart of a champion. He's 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 like a lion. I mean, brains him, huh? Yeah, I mean. And he's one of the kids that, I mean, he got hurt last year and recovered from an injury that would have taken most kids out. So genetically, I mean, his body recovers like crazy. Right. But uh, he, he had right at 1,000 yards last year. He'll have over 1,000 yards this year. He ha he'll have 70, 80 tackles. He can uh, play, though. He can play. Oh, he's a serious. He's a serious player. Got good size, six foot tall. I mean, oh, he yeah. can play. And uh, Stanley uh, Gilmore, I tell people all the time, he's one of the best athletes I've ever seen personally in all my days of coaching in space and, isn't he yeah just get him in space and he's one step from breaking it every time and uh we have a couple of those kids him and mike and uh dunn i mean you give them the ball and they're gone and then uh the bigger kids i mean what's been a blessing for us is having enough big linemen to be able to create space and yeah. um uh, in our right. defense this year i mean from going from where we were last year giving up you know 30 something points a game. Now we're giving up right at 20 points yeah. a game. We've been, you know, improved by 10, 10 or 12 points a game. The right, the right blend of speed and size for 2 8. Oh, it's amazing. And, yeah. a, and experience. Yeah. All these guys played last year, except, oh, yeah. except yeah. We're, we're coming back with 40, solid. we're coming back with 4,300 yards of offense from last year. Wow. It's, it's impressive. Uh, but Hamilton, I'm glad you, you mentioned him. Uh, Tyler is a kid that came out to the team. He's been out for a year. He had to sit out. He's back on the team now because of uh, he moved from another school. Uh, first game, 200 yards. I mean, he touches the ball seven times. Second game, he not touches the ball seven times. He gets two touchdowns. It's not a bad. Just, yeah, it's not a bad deal. <laughs> he's then, just he's just a really good athlete. Now your son's going to be on today. Uh, Mills, your quarterback. Yes. Your son, and then John Morley Dawson's your other son. John Morley. Uh, he's JB, only a sophomore. That's right. JB's a sophomore. He's got uh, a lot of physical uh, uh, attributes that have. Tall about, also. Yeah, he's 6'2", about uh, right at 200 pounds. Uh, really got some uh, very good uh, lateral movement, very balanced. Uh, he uh, he makes plays from sideline to sideline. Uh, you know, him and Chandler together, it's been a very, very good for our defense. You know? We're going to take a break. When we come back, I want to yeah. ask you about your, your boys when we come sure. back. We've got to do that. <laughs> and then we got to ask you about your brother, Shannon, at yes. Houston. Yes. How you know? I know y'all are close. He's the yeah. offensive coordinator at the University of Houston. That's right. Does a real good job. Worked his way up in the yeah, business. He did at the smallest colleges. He started, and I remember I actually played against him or with him at Silliman when I was younger. I went to Silliman <laughs> like grades five and six. There you go. And I remember <laughs> he was a little older, but we. I remember he was good. I and Shannon you. Dawson was a good player back then, and everybody yeah. knew it back then. But we'll be right back. Gage has served Louisiana for over 40 years. Let Gage create a custom tailored solution for your business and become your partner in technology. Give them a call today at 225-753-4243 and help your business get better connected with Gage. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, your host. Uh, be sure to, to not just like us, but my producer probably is jumping on me, probably didn't tell me yet, but Nolan would tell me, subscribe to YouTube. It's free. And if you're a fan of the show, we need those subscriptions. 
and once we hit a certain plateau, we went over, we're in the 500 and something range. We only started the, the YouTube like four months ago. So I'm kind of YouTube late, but uh, we, we need to get the numbers up and it'll really help our show take off even more. We're filming another show later today with two former greats, Ron Sancho from LSU and possibly Eddie Fuller from LSU. We'll be uh, doing that, but I want to get back to, to Ryan Dawson. Ryan, um, you got two boys on the team at East Feliciana. We talked about it, John yeah. Marley. Mills is going to join us in a minute, who's 6'5", got a cannon arm. Who inherited what from who? <laughs> from you got, and your brother, <laughs> Shannon. No, I think they got all their athletic ability from my wife, actually. <laughs> I think the, 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 most of the problems they get in life, they can go back to dad and say, okay, dad, dad gave me this. But uh, no, really and truly, uh, Shannon and I, you know, we never really had a lot of uh, great, I guess, things that we, we had to work for a lot of stuff that we had. And so, uh, and I think our kids have seen the same thing. I mean, I think the strong arm from Mills comes from the fact that he throws the ball a lot and he's out there working. And for JB, even though he has some of the physical, physical look, and uh, you know, cookie cutter, uh, you know, size. Yeah, he still has to work hard to get where yeah. he wants to be. Yeah. So it's well, more, it's more, more work than it is either. Yeah. So. Well, your brother Shannon's done a good job in college football. You're, he's yes. offensive coordinator at Houston. Yes. Yes. And uh, they're having a tough season, but it's yeah, tough. It's, it's tough, man. It's well, tough. I think too is that uh, you know, me and Shannon talk once a week, twice a week, a lot. Uh, we're really close. Uh, one thing I've really noticed over the last two or three years with Shannon is it's it's gotten to be, you know, it's still college football, but it, it's he, different. He can, isn't it? Yeah, he he can take the he takes it a little better than, than he has in the past, and 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 that's that's kind of good. But uh, also, but yeah, college football is different. I mean, you go out there now, and people are getting paid for you know like it or don't like it. It's still it's, it's, what, it's where we're going. You what, know? Do you, what do you think of that? I mean, you, we need to do some more rules with the NIL. Well, no, set up I think some, that, some, some rules. the way I look at it, you're either a capitalist or you're not. And so there's no way in the world that you can say, okay, I believe in capitalism and then I can't have it in every part of my life. You're either a capitalist or you're not a capitalist. So, yeah. I mean, that's the way I look at it. So. Kids are getting high school NIL deals. That's right. Yeah. Well, if you're good enough, I, I tell people all the time, I mean, why not get paid? Does a golf coach get an NIL deal? Every once in a while. <laughs> but most of the time I realize is I have to pay the NIL deal, you know, so I'm paying somebody else. So. Well, I mean, saying this without him being your son, I mean, I think your son's D1. Yeah. He's 6'5", he's got a cannon arm, great feet. Yeah. And hit tight spots. I mean, what else do you look for? Well, for I, I think a lot, and, and I'm just speaking from uh, the coaching. And you're a coach. Too, yeah, and, and the dad side of it is, yeah, I think he's – I think he has the ability to play college football. Uh, I think what you have to do as a player and as a coach, you look at your kid and you look at what that league has, and see where your body type fits and where your yeah. where your per, you know where your personality fits. There's a lot of times that kids are athletic enough to make it D1, but their personality fits smaller schools. Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of what you have to do. I think you have to evaluate each kid and you say, okay, he fits here. He fits yeah. here. You know, and so. You know, is he D1? Is he, you know, big enough to play at, you know, Sanford or whatever else? I think you have to find out where you fit. You That's know? a good point because yeah. I know there are kids that will go to Louisiana Tech. That's right. They won't even visit LSU. That's right. And they're good enough to go to LSU, but they don't want to go to a big school. That's right. Their, their, body, their body or their mind fits that smaller program. So, yeah. Any, any, any words for parents watching? Uh, any wisdom you could give any parent? I just tell you, I being tell a parent her, that you're a parent. Well, I, I tell everybody the, the one thing that I think I can tell everybody is that it's just a game. And at the end of the day, you know, one percent of these kids are going to make it to the next level, and less than that, are going to make it to the following level. So the best thing you can do is have fun, uh, live in the moment, have fun, enjoy it, and if your kid gets a chance to play at the next level, be 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 gracious and enjoy that too, because uh, yeah. it's very yeah. small amounts. Any shout out to anybody here that's supportive of you? Any any shout out? <laughs> I, I do. I, I have a uh, matter of fact, uh, Eastfield, the Eastfield family. I, I've been very, we've been very fortunate as a family to be involved with a group of people that have accepted us and have been very uh, gracious towards us in, in um, you know, in allowing us to, you know, play with them. So. Well, your son's coming on next. Yes, and, let's, uh, let's get him. Your wife's here supporting you yes, and got your family your here. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. We'll yes, be right back with 
one of the top quarterbacks in the state that's not ranked, um, should be, uh, Mills Dawson, East Feliciana, 6'5", 190 pounds, cannon arm, qualified also for college. We'll be right back. If you need a paint job or repairs to your vehicle, go see Medine's Collision Center located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on Kincaid Avenue. The number to call is 357-7983. That's 357-7983. Your Baton Rouge Accident Advisors. What does a bug man do? Not only do we do pest control, we do odor control, bat removal, moisture control, rodents, and of course, bed bug control. Give the bug man a call. We get them before they get you. Welcome back. I'm your host, Lee Burkeen of the Sports Scout Report podcast. I got to remember to say that more often, but we've got a quarterback that's going to join us in a second. I want to brag about him a little bit. He leads the state in passing yards in Class 2A. Um, we'll talk about the stats and we'll talk about a six foot five, 190 pounds. Um, he's got his golf shirt on today. He plays golf, but he's a football quarterback from East Feliciana. Mills Dawson. Mills, thanks for joining us. Thank you. What's it like experiencing your senior year? It's, it's halfway, we're over halfway done. Yeah, it's kind of flown by so far, but uh, already halfway through the season. And... So you lead the state uh, in 2A in passing yards. You got 1,412 yards. Yes, sir. And we got another potential nine games. Yes, sir. So you, you're on track for... 3,000 plus yards. Yes, sir. Uh, 18 touchdowns. What I like, just five interceptions. And those five you probably yeah. regret, huh? But, but 18 and five is pretty good in high yes, school. Sir. What's your favorite thing about football? Football, uh, I don't know. I just, I, I fell in love with it as a little kid playing peewee football. I think I was quarterback the year my brother went to, uh, like, the next uh, – Higher up, I think it was called Peanut Football. Oh, okay. And that's when uh, when I became a quarterback. Whenever they didn't have a quarterback, because my brother was was in the older age group, and kind of right I, before Breck, huh? Yes, sir. I got you. That's kind of when I fell in love with it. I mean, yes, I watch you, and and I'm I like to watch prospects coming up, but your feet in the pocket is very underrated. I mean, you know how to move and and avoid the rush, and yes, sir. You know how to get rid of the ball, like some college quarterbacks don't. And you got the height, you got the arm, you got the touch. Yes, sir. Um, and you're going to fill out. You're probably going to be, what, 230 probably in college. Hopefully. Yes, sir. You remind me of those Stanford quarterbacks. <laughs> you know, they're all 6'5", and they get there at 190, and all of a sudden they're Andrew Luck. They're <laughs> pro prospects one day. But who are some of your favorite colleges? Colleges, uh, well, definitely like LSU. I've always liked uh, West Virginia. West Virginia, yes, huh? sir. Wasn't your uncle there at one time? Yes, sir. That's why okay. I like this. All right. Shannon was there. I went to a few games when okay. I was little. Yes, sir. The cold weather didn't bother you at all? No, sir. Okay. I well, that's, a, that's the first one. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you started as a sophomore at Silliman. Yes, sir. So early on, you were on varsity. Yes, sir. Um, four and two on the season. Y'all got a good record. Yes, sir. Capitals this week, right? Yes, sir. What's it like uh, playing the games in Baton Rouge compared to not playing at home in Clinton? It's uh, well, it's a little bit different. I feel like there's more like uh, playing against more speed, I guess. Okay. And I, yeah, that's pretty much it. You got some great skill guys on your team. Yes, sir. Um, we mentioned all of them, but what is it like to have a six foot seven receiver that's two hundred and thirty pounds that runs a four five forty? It's that's awesome. got two years left. <laughs> yes, sir. When you get in the huddle, you're tall. Yes, sir. And then he's <laughs> over you. Just a little bit. <laughs> but, but but how much are you thinking every play? I got to get this guy a ball every time because he has good hands. Yes, sir. But yeah, I always feel like I need to get the ball to him a little bit more in the games. That's always yeah. kind of in the back of my mind. Tredez Green, who's only a sophomore, yes, sir. and he came on our show earlier this year. And for all those LSU fans, I kept asking him, who's your favorite college? He's like, LSU. And he was like, since I could walk LSU, but he can play basketball. He's the number one recruit in the state in basketball already. Yes, sir. And he's going to be the number one recruit in football in two years. And plus, you got all these five nine guys in the slot that can run. How do you pick? Well, you always go on second, third read, or one read usually. It's kind of funny. Like most of the teams we play will double team Trades and kind of like bracket him. They will put two people over the top of him, and it opens up everybody else. Okay. So like that's kind of like what we look at. Just 
do you have any uh, body language going on? Like you know your your receivers how they want the ball and yes, sir. what we spot have and a few signals between like me and a couple of receivers that I have good connections with that I know I can call hot routes to. And, and you can run when yes, you're sir. flushed. You can run. You notice you can get away from people. You don't. You avoid the hits a lot. Yes, sir. Which is key. Some guys can't do that. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to have more Mills, Dawson, East Fleet, Shanna, quarterback. He's a senior, 6'5", 190, Clinton, Louisiana, right outside of Baton Rouge. This kid's a D1 player. I think he is. And like his dad said, it's just a matter of the fit. We'll be, we'll be right back. Gros Savon Lodge, the true sportsman's paradise. Gros Savon Lodge has fresh and saltwater fishing, alligator hunting, waterfowl hunting, and echo tours located south of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Give them a call at 337-598-2357. That number to call again is 337-598-2357 and have the time of your life. Gage has served Louisiana for over 40 years. Let Gage create a custom tailored solution for your business and become your partner in technology. Give them a call today at 225-753 Four two four three, and help your business get better connected with Gage. Welcome back. I'm Lee Burkine, your host of Sports Scouting Report podcast. Go like YouTube. I, you know, I didn't even know YouTube existed. I, I'm you know old school. You were born in what 2004? Yes, sir. I'm a 1970 guy. You know, I didn't know how to do all this internet till my business made me learn it uh, 10 years ago. But I'm only good with emails, and I guess when I have to text. You know, when your recruits are texting. It's like, ah, oh, text. You got to return the text, right? But that's in the world you live in, right? I'd rather a text over an email. You'd rather that? Yes, sir. Just quick, get it over with? I don't hardly ever check my emails as much. Oh, man, I got interns <laughs> that don't check the emails. We got to change that, man. We got to yes, change sir. that. So when you get to college, you got to check your emails. Yes, sir. Because if your professor emails you, what happens if you don't return it? Uh, you fell. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We got, but you'll learn. You're in high school right now. But yes, look, sir. your uncle is a college coach. What is that like? I mean, he's at Houston, uh, Shannon Dawson. Yes, sir. He's at West Virginia. Well, I mean, what is that like to see uh, your dad's a coach, but then to see your uncle, you know, yeah. calling a game for a big college? It's awesome. I love watching him. He, uh, he's helped me out a lot with like tips and stuff. And I send him my film after every game and he just watches it. He critiques you? Yes, sir. Honestly? Yes, sir. Good. Very honest. Good. I know your dad's got to do that too. He's got to separate with you when he's coaching. Yes, sir. Um, football wise, what do you need to work on? What do you think is is the in the toolbox? What do you need to get better at? Probably my speed and decision making. Yes, sir. I okay. think my five picks have came all from bad decisions. What do y'all need to do to to get deep in the playoffs? I know this is a, a team that can do that. Your brother John Marley's also on offense. I'm gonna ask you that in a minute. But yes, sir. What is it like to get to that deep in the playoff run? I mean, this program's always made the playoffs. Yes, sir. But what do you think's the key? To, Just to... discipline and being like, we're, we've already kind of come together as a team these last couple games, and it feels like a team and we're out there playing, but I think it can always improve. What's it like throwing to your brother? It's pretty cool. I actually threw him his first touchdown uh, I think it was the second – no, yeah, the second game of the season. And he's a sophomore. Yes, sir. So you're the older brother. Yes, sir. You're always staying on him to get better. Yes, sir. Now, he's 200 pounds, 6'2". Yes, he's sir. not little. No, he's not. He weighs more than you do. Yes, sir. So if y'all are in a wrestling match, who wins? Me. <laughs> All right, brother's watching. So if y'all run to 40, who wins? Uh, that That's close. We're about the same speed. Really? Yes, sir. Okay, he can run for 200 pounds. Yes, sir. So his hands, what's your brother's hands like? He drops the ball. You got you getting on him? Got to yes, improve sir, a little had, bit. I've had to get on him. A couple now times. he's going to grow into a tight end if he keeps uh, growing, huh? Yes, sir. Mom keeps cooking for him like that. Yes, huh? sir. So if he, if he ends up your height, six five, he's going to be like two fifty. Yes, sir. Right? We need you know, that might be a Foster Morrow one day for LSU. But what do you like about school? What, tell me your favorite subject. Favorite subject? Uh, probably science. Science. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, that was one. That was one of the few I passed. Um, what do you What do you think of math? I hate math. Hey, hey, give me how I'm all right with you on that one. Um, anything you'd like to say? Any shout out to any family member? I know your mom's here. Your dad came on. Anybody else in the family you want, or coaches, or anybody you uh, want to shout out to? Not really. I don't 
I can't think of anything. You, we've covered them all, huh? Yes, sir. What about yeah. your head coach? Oh, oh, Coach, coach Matthews, yeah. Uh, he's done a great job of, like, <laughs> pushing me and to being a leader on the team. And I feel like I'm, like, we worked a lot. We worked together, like, really good. Final question before we go. Saturday afternoon comes. College football starts at 11. Are you a kid that watches the games? Every game. Every game I can watch. So you're big into it. Yes, sir. Your dad and you were fighting over the remote? Uh, more like me and my littlest brother. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. What do you What do you watch more? What conference do you – is it SEC, uh, Mountain Definitely West? Uh, SEC. Okay. Yes, what, who's going to win the national championship this year? Who do you think? I think Georgia might get it again. You might know. You might be right. They return yes, a quarterback. And uh, Alabama, they don't look as strong. Well, if they got Bryce Young back, I think they would. Yeah. They just don't look Maybe. as strong for some reason. Yes, A&M shouldn't be in a game with them. No, sir. Not at all. Your uncle would probably be like, don't be saying that. All our coaches, man, we're all the same. Uh, good luck to you. I know this is it, and I hope I hope y'all play the maximum of 15 games, which means a, na a state championship. Yes, sir. And it would be in the Dome this year, which I'm excited about, aren't you, if y'all can go to the Dome one day, everybody again? Yes, sir. I think we got a big shot at it this year. Well, look, good luck to you, Mills. Thank Wherever you. you choose to go to college, you're going to go somewhere. I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Be sure, again, to – Subscribe to YouTube. You can catch us on wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, you can go to our website, LAFootballMagazine.com. You can still order your magazine preview issue that we do that this kid's in and his brother's in it. His dad's not in it, but the two brothers are in it, East Fleet, Shiana, and then also all the high schools are promoted. Uh, they're going to leave with copies today. And uh, we'll see everybody on Friday. Thanks for listening to the Sports Scouting Report podcast with Lee Brakeem.